please. Uh, how do we build consensus now? Which consensus is that? Consensus is needed because at the end of the day, the ruling has been made or the judgment. And so we need the parliamentarians back. Government needs to look at its agent business. The number of items before parliament. Let me say good morning to you and good morning to my sisters and my auntie. And good morning to my brother, Dr. P.Y. Jantua. P.Y., how are you? And my brother, Kwame Jantua. Um, <laughs> what consensus are you talking about? The, the, the MPP, they asked for the reopening of parliament using the constitution. I believe right now the constitution is even tied. How tight? We are just going backwards and forwards about what is in clear language. The act for reopening of parliament, isn't it? Good. The NDC came, but they did not come to the chamber. They walked out because they said they were supposed to sit in a certain place and spiritually it was wrong for them to sit in the other place. You see, in this parliament, I'll say it and I'll retreate it and I'll say it again. There's no majority. It is 137, 137 plus one. There's a majority side. Where is the majority side? There's a government side and there's an opposition side. From the very beginning, it was an error for the speaker to allow the independent candidate to stay with them to be majority. An but, error? Yes, but he said he bent backwards. He bent backwards so that government business will thrive. Because you see, Roland, if I ask for two dogs and you bring me a dog and a monkey, have you brought me two dogs? Well, do dogs and monkeys that got to do with it. That is what I am saying, that independent and party are not the same. If somebody is independent, another person is from another party, they are not the same. So they cannot add on. Their DNA is not the same. They cannot add on. Do you get me? They cannot add on. They can only do business. A dog and a monkey can play around. But they are not the same. They cannot mate to bring out a produce. So what... The independent who should have done was to sit in their place. But let me ask you. Ask me. The former member of the, the former member of parliament. I mean, he was a former MPP. Former is different from now. But the large number of people who vote for him were you are, are sympathizers how, how, and how, supporters of how, how of, of, of the MPP because, in the Ashanti region. Because you see, the, 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 the vote was divided. That is undeniable. Please, the vote was divided between two people, the MPP person and he himself. But for him to win, it was possible that people from other parties also voted for him because he was an independent candidate. And he was the one they rejected. They said that they cannot do business with him. Yeah, I don't know what is wrong with him. If I were him, I will stay independent forever. I don't know what, why he's rushing to join. And now look at all the problems it has, it has brought to us. Seriously. There is no, there is no majority. So if somebody says that, address me as majority, that majority is a very pathetic one. A majority of one when you used to have 169. And now you have 137 and you are forcing a one, one majority. It, it, it's neither here nor there. And it's not even your majority. This is somebody that you rejected and said you do not want. You don't need that person. You don't want that person to come close. The person was an athema. Do you get me? So the point is that we shouldn't even fight over majority or minority. There's none in the house. That is why we call it a hunk parliament. So initially, the right thing should have been, as the um, right honorable speaker said, it should have been government side and opposition side. That is all. Because you see, no matter what it is, there's, there should be consensus building. But now, who went, who, who went to court? Today, Kojon Pieni, one of the very experienced, astute politicians in this country, he said that there was no need for the matter to be taken to court. Because when you do that, you weaken one arm of government. The other arm of government should not interfere in the process of 
the other arm of government and i agree with him i've said this thing several but you say that the supreme court has ruled but you see we need to even look at it but we shouldn't mix things the supreme court is not telling parliament to reconvene mm? and nobody can force as Beatrice said nobody can force any parliamentarian to come to the chamber people want their seats they want to win their seats and backwards and forth you see the people who it's possible that um, the MPP leader has not traveled beyond his constituency. He's so he, the majority leader. So he doesn't know he doesn't know how far people travel from the north to come to Accra to attend parliament. So he just calls parliament, I, I request for a call of the parliament at his whims. I am even surprised at his posture now and his posture then. Why? Is there a now, difference? Yes, now he's... He said he was going to the call for validation no, and the speaker's actions then, then, were unconstitutional. Then he, then he was... He started uh, talking about the speaker in any way. He's a dictator, he's this, he's that. Yes, it is there. But no matter what it is, you see, whether we like it or not, Right Honorable Bagman is the speaker of parliament. Nancy Pelosi was a thorn in the flesh of um, Trump. She was the speaker of the house. Do you understand me? So the Speaker of Parliament is not somebody that we can just get up and misbehave. The fact that he's NDC does not mean that he should be treated anyhow. He is the Speaker of Parliament, the leader of the House, the second in line as far as the, the, the institutions are concerned. The legislature is the second in line, the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. So you're saying that if, let's say, NDC should not mass up numbers to the House, it's legitimate? Ah, where is the law in this one? I cannot come. I am in my country. Where is the law? You use legitimate, you are talking about law. Hey. Does any law compel anybody to be in parliament? Not a, a champion, champion. Yes, I am telling you because the constitution, this 97, it shows you how you can absent yourself 15 times. It is not yet 15 times. It is not even one time they came all the way from Boko, from everywhere. And the MPP side said they were not coming because of city. Ghana is not an appendage of the MPP. Ghana is Ghana. Anaya, it's because around the table, we seem to be creating a certain atmosphere that, oh, the electoral commission is on a certain path and tangent and in tandem with the governing party and etc. Whilst Perhaps it may not be. It may not be so. You see the electoral. Sh sh should that be our thinking? The electoral commission should stop causing trouble. They should stop being trouble. Yes, they should stop being mischievous and causing trouble. The trouble is too much. Do you get me? The trouble is too much. They should stop it. Jinensa should start acting like a leader. When she does her thing, she, it doesn't look as if she, she, she's, she's on her own. It's as if somebody is behind the scenes pulling the strings. It is time for us to see her as a electoral commissioner. Somebody even asked me a question that if Baumia doesn't win, can Jean Mensah announce anybody as a president, especially His Excellency John Dramani Mahama? That okay. kind of image is... Or oh, how do you mean? That is, these are questions That's out That's a very there. unfair comment to me. These are questions out there. They have to leave it for the... These are questions why? out there. Why? 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 Yes, why? because of her posture. And the way everybody has said it around here. Why is she denying the CSO's observer status? You see, even I believe that, and I know, that even as an ordinary Ghanaian, you can apply to be an observer. Because of security reasons, you just have to need a tag to show that you are an observer. What is wrong? When the observers come on board, especially the CSOs, it brings neutrality. Do you understand? It brings neutrality. So you need to bring them on board. This is an election for our country and i don't see why you should stifle anybody who wants to be involved and i don't know what her problem is she and her team they should try as much as possible not to create any chaos because when parties are dissatisfied it brings trouble we'll go for all these peace conferences the fulcrum of our peace <coughs> is around the ec 
So if the EC does not behave properly, then we are in trouble. You get me? We are going to elect parliamentarians. We are going to elect um, a president for this nation. One thing I agree with Ellen is that at this election, everybody should vote. If you vote CPP, vote for the CPP PC. If you vote NDC, vote for the NDC PC. If you vote MPP, vote for the MPP PC. So that it takes out this because I have heard, I don't know, maybe it's alleged, but it is all around that um, the MPP MPs are telling people to vote for them and, I mean, vote for them as uh, uh, individuals. As individuals. Or as they make a choice for other candidates. Yes. They where, where are you here? That cannot be true. Oh, me, I, me, I don't know, but I heard, I don't know how far it's true. I, I can give you a list. If they, if they don't, they should vote for No, please, 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 please. Okay, so, I mean, with this kind of thing, it is certainly not right for this kind of information. And I agree with Ellen 100%. That for us to get some um, stability. I mean, for me, the hung parliament is not a bad thing. But how we manage it, we need to also have rules in the parliament regarding the hung parliament that in case to accommodate some of yes these. in case it happens again what are some of the mistakes that we did but typically it is not right for people to ask others to vote for them and vote for another candidate you stay within your lane so people who are voting for whoever vote for your president and vote for the pc so if you are voting for his excellency john dramani mahama vote for him and vote for the PC. If you are voting for Alan Chiamatin, vote for him and vote for the independent candidates. And, if, any, other and any other person. You are voting for Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. If you are, vote for him. We are voting for Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, vote for him. Do you get me? And vote for the PC. If you are voting for CPP, vote. So, so that there is some uniformity. So, oh, no, we want to hang parliament again, maybe. Do you get it? So if you want, do you see, we should not us. take out the the another occurrence of a hung parliament. So and we, it's problem and that it's, it would uh, So we need to have regulations okay. regarding that. But as for the EC, to be very honest, eh, I thought that by now, uh, Madame Jean Mensa would have learned something. Ghanaians are not pleased with her. And she's a woman, sometimes I find it very difficult to talk about her. But there's also issues as if somebody is pushing her. Sometimes she looks very sad, very as if she's vulnerable. Sometimes mm -hmm. she looks like she doesn't want to understand, very, very stringent, very uh, um, hard. But whatever it is, the changes in moods, I don't know what it means. Sometimes she comes out at very angry. But whatever it is, she should understand that she has a lot on her head. For this country to come together. She, at this moment, hmm? for you see, Ghanaians, eh, if you finish your eight years, they say that is democracy. When you, you, you go, you, you take the truck trucks and the taxis, they will tell you that, Madam, for us, eight years we are finished. Whether you do well or you don't do well, we are done. The voters determine that. that yeah, they, that's, these so, are the so voters. It's not trot -trot people. They are the voters. The people in the truck, who are they? Hmm? The people I'm asking you, the people sitting in the trotro, who are they? They are the real voters. And I am saying that on that day, everybody should get up in the morning as early as it is to go and vote. You see, that day, nobody, I've said it, nobody can stay the execution of our camps to vote against the MPP. Nobody can do that. Not the EC. But all of us should be vigilant. To ensure, I am saying that, you see, for instance, the breakdown, we need it. We need the statistics. For me to know that my Asoka constituency has 200 people on the poll. And so if somebody is monitoring, you will know that maybe um, 150 people voted. We should also have manual tallying. The agents to take HA4 sheets, they do their tallying, but they should have people, even the observers, they should be useful. You don't just go around and leave. We should distribute ourselves. Me, I want to be an observer. I'm going to EC to tell them that I'll be an observer. And we should pick a white sheet. As the people are voting, you should be diligent and counting. Five people vote, you do your five and you cross. So that at the end of the day, you know that 
the register of 200 people, 150 voters. So nobody can come in. We are doing, the, you are encouraging people to flood the polling area. It is not flood. But when the counting is going on, people are there to observe. All right. Eh? And you have, you can, you can be within a certain perimeter. Distance, perimeter. Okay. And you'll be observing. You cannot say that. That one is acceptable. Yes, you cannot leave it like that for people to do what they want to no. know. Okay. okay. Minute for you. Money out. You should see how Roland is moving as eh, fast, 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 fast. Well, so we, we can't even think. Plus eh? another person, we can't five. I couldn't think. even conclude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you have to ask another person at this time. <laughs> to clarify. And we don't want that person. So this give is us, for us time. Give us our time. Because there is you. so much to say to this EC and the so, people of Ghana. So, so the, yes, give us time. We need it. <laughs> don't bring people in on Zoom. <laughs> Next week, I'll make sure that that is all done. Please, you have Every one minute. I promise. Okay. I've distorted your mind. The point is that i believe that every political party should empower their polling agents at the polling station it is very very key if you have been assigned as a polling agent you are going through training i want to tell you that you need to be very vigilant that is where the issue is after the voting Ghanaians are going to vote against mpp there's no doubt about that but the question they ask is, how are you going to police the ballot? And it is very key for us to do that, to make sure. And we should also make sure that nobody dies. We should make sure that nobody is shot. I am speaking to the IGP. Akufudam Pare. CDS. The CDS, all the heads of the security agencies that they should ensure that no Ghanaian loses their life because of the 2024 election. Eight people died in 2020. Nothing has been done about it. I don't know whether there is even a docket to that effect. I don't know whether it is being investigated. We are in four years. Eight Ghanaian lives were lost, vanquished, destroyed. And nobody has said anything about it. Ghana is not going to forgive these heads if anybody dies. Yes, don't look at me in that manner. We are very, very, very serious about it. Ghana is not going to forgive the heads, the police, the military, the immigration, whoever is allowed to hold a gun. We are not going to forgive them if anybody dies. So they should all ensure that nothing like that happens. This is our homeland, Ghana. Our nation must be made great and strong. strong. All right.